Hey, welcome back. It's still Plus Politics. My name is Nyamgul Agaji, the candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, for the March 18, 2023 governorship election in Delta State. Sharif Oborewuri on Sunday reportedly escaped gunmen attack along the Wari Sapele Highway. The Delta PDP governorship candidate, who is also the Speaker of the State House of Assembly, was returning from Sapele to Osubi when the deadly attack occurred. The convoy of the Delta State PDP governorship candidate, Right Honorable Sharif, on a Sunday, March 12, 2023, came under heavy attack from the unknown gunmen between Elume Junction and Okwabude in Okwe local government area of the state. Joining us to discuss this is Ambassador Ogagaogene, Ogeneyole, Deputy DG Mo for Delta Youth Project. Good evening and welcome, Ogaga. Mm -hmm. Okay, so mm -hmm. just walk us through what really happened uh, leading to the attacks that has, uh, your, your governorship candidate is saying he went under. Okay, of course you understand that we are in very extraordinary times where uh, every political party and their candidates are moving around conversing for both and putting finishing touches to their campaign as the campaigns draw to a close. So it was on Sunday evening when our uh, candidate was returning from uh, Sapple, as you rightly read, uh, after meeting some persons in Sapple, some candidates in Sapple. And of course, you should understand that Sapple is one of the, is uh, my, our candidate's stronghold, being that Sapple local government and Ope local government are the same people under one kingdom, which is the Ope kingdom. Sapple people on living in Sapple local government or Sapple people are also uh, uh, aborigines who, aside from their local government diminution, they are the same people under the same kingdom that has the same king, the Sapple and the people. And our candidate is, of course, from the Ope kingdom, just that he is from the uh, uh, Ope local government. And so it's understandable because that area is actually a, an area where you will sway. And also uh, understanding the fact that that federal constituency, which is the Osuri, Sapple, Ukwe, and Uwe federal constituency, had never produced governor, uh, any governor before in the past. So the people take uh, the sheriff's candidacy very serious. And uh, of course, that place is a stronghold. He went to Sapple was on campaign and when he was coming back on Sunday, the convoy was attacked by unknown gunmen. And these gunmen were wearing like uh, normal common criminals because from the reports we have, the, the when our candidate fall under attack, the uh, security personnel that is attached to the speaker to our candidate engaged them in a gun battle for about 10 minutes before they were able to uh, uh, successfully get our candidate through that place. And then, of course, you ask yourself, is it a small criminal or just a common roadside arm robber that would have the capacity, the, the, the gun power to be able to, to engage a speaker, a city speaker's uh, security detail for up to 10 minutes? Because the candidate we are talking about is just not, is not just anybody. But the candidate is the sitting speaker of the Delta State House of Assembly and a governorship candidate as well. So you can understand the, the security itinerary or the security that has to go with him. And for such a group to be able to engage this security architecture for over 10 minutes tells you that these people were not just robbers that were standing on the way. They were not just uh, criminals that they were that were looking for prey, they were persons that specifically targeted uh, uh, the speaker. Of course, if you understand that way very much, we know that a couple, a couple of uh, times here and there, Well, Gaga, your, your audio is not really good enough. Maybe you would uh, exit and rejoin. I don't know how it is going to be. Okay, we can hear you better now. 
Yes. Okay, thank you. Go ahead. So as I was saying, if you understand, for those who understand Dara, they we agree that uh, they, for maybe sometimes that there are robbers who attack uh, road users, but there haven't been incidents of attacking heavily uh, protected uh, uh, politicians or highly placed persons. Uh, just a focus of uh, uh, local armed robbers around that place. But this is just way different. You could see from the pictures of the vehicles, uh, uh, the, the, ve uh, the vehicles of the, the convoy of the speaker, you see the level of attack. You see gun penetration. You know that these things, these uh, uh, arms were heavy arms. And for them to be able to uh, engage the speaker's uh, security details for 10 minutes tells you that these people are prepared. And of course, we are only, uh, we have been asking, we have been thrown to begin to ask uh, how people can go, how far people can go in these political times. Who is afraid of the candidacy of Sheriff, right of the uh, Sheriff of Borowere? Who doesn't want him to uh, be alive until Saturday for the election? These are questions that these attacks have raised. Because, of course, we are worried that uh, the rising, the continuous rise of the uh, acceptance and the uh, popularity of our candidate has, has begun to attract some attack to him. You know, they started, this attack did not just start from this arm attack. From the very first day Sheriff came to start contesting, it was attack. I've been on this TV session before. So to address issues, that it was, it started from a normal social media attack. They attacked his credibility. They even went to court to determine the authenticity of his result and the Supreme Court put a uh, lay the rest to that. After that, they continue. This man is one of the high, high, most highly attacked uh, politicians on social media today. Why? Because, uh, of course, they know that Sheriff is one of the people. Sheriff is somebody that you can just, you don't, can't do, you can't just help it, uh, uh, help not liking him. Sheriff is somebody that is accepted by us. So we are very worried that these persons are taking politics to another level. And we are saying that this is not the kind of politics we want to play, especially in... Well, well, but for, now, for now, that's just conjecture, because we, all over Nigeria, we're seeing armed bandits doing the, their thing. So I, I don't know if you have concrete evidence to show that this is a political attack. It could have been anyone. could have been people who just wanted to rob them. could have been anybody, because that is not the first time we're seeing bandits with higher firepower even than the police. So what gave you... The, the the idea that it has to be a political one. I will not be talking about uh, clear evidence because I'm not a uh, security operative, I'm not a security personnel, and I'm very careful because this is a national TV. But I can tell you from analysis, like from what I said before, whereas we are the residents of Delta State, we understand that rap very well. And I quite accepted that once in a while there are a couple of uh, robbery uh, uh, incidents in that route. But none at no time have we recorded a robbery attack on high level and very highly protected politicians on that route. And of course you if you analyze the 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 strength of their their, their uh, 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 firepower, you understand that these people are not just people who set out to rob. It is very difficult to attack uh, a very a, a, a convoy of just ordinary person who has protected himself. Not to talk about the speaker of the state, after the governor and Thank the deputy governor. That is the of the state. That person is. Thank you, very, very protected. Yeah. Thank you very much, Ogaga again, for, for confirming that that really happened. And no matter what it is, we just thank God that he is alive today and he's going to go into the election on Saturday. And we wish him well. We wish your team well. We wish your party well. Uh, good fortunes, fortunes in, the next, in the elections. Thank you so much for being a part of today's show. Thank you very much, and God bless you. We we're talking with Ogena Yole Ogaga Ogene uh, from Delta State, confirming that the governorship candidate of PDP was attacked, actually, at Sapele. And unfortunately, that's how we're going to wrap it up on the show this evening. We do hope that you had a wonderful time. Let's do it again tomorrow. My name is Nyam Gul Agaji. <laughs>